here are three ways on how to find a printer if you're looking to get your postcard printed for a deal. Good morning, hyper local real estate agents. I am so excited to talk about this one and I want to First of all, thank our group members for posting their questions inside the Facebook group because this way I can answer your questions on a video just like this one and help so, so, so many more. So really, really happy. Um, started the day off with a listing appointment, which is awesome. And now I get to help you solve your problems when it comes to mailers. So let's dive in. The question that was posted um, let me pull it up real quick. Was by, um, sorry, Cindy. Cindy said, has anyone else had luck with online printers that use EDDM? There are no local printers within 75 miles from me that use EDDM. I'm just starting out and found a couple of geographic farms with good ROI. So let's get this one answered. What I want to make sure is that you have all the facts. Now, here is where I went. I went to the United States Postal Service, and there's a great little tool that says find a printer. Now, I looked up where Cindy was at. So what happens when she finds a printer? She puts it in here, right? And then it says, sorry, there are no printers listed within 75 miles of this location. Well, how frustrating is that, right? I mean, let's be honest, if you're trying to get your word out, it would make it so much easier if you have a local printing person. Now, what can we do in that instance? And I actually have three solutions for you because it's all about being resourceful. Now, who in here says I can be resourceful? Drop it in the comments if you're watching it on um, our Facebook group or just simply let me know can you be resourceful? This is the one thing that I think all of us need to be, especially in real estate, right? We need to be resourceful. So let's be resourceful, just like Cindy posting the questions to make sure she gets the answer she's looking for as fast as possible. Here are my three things that I would do if I had no local printer within 75 miles of me listed. Um, and remember, it's only listed on that website we used so far. So number one, what I would do is I would go even more hyper local than that. I would start looking at things like nextdoor.com. How many of you guys have used Nextdoor to find a recommendation, right? Um, go hyper local and see if there is a business. You can also see if there's anything in your chamber of commerce. That's a great one. Chamber of Commerce has all those businesses listed and you can see if there's a printing business that you can simply then um, call and you can ask them about it. Okay. So that is solution number one. Go even more hyper local. Solution number two, if you cannot locate a local printer just like that, um, it would be to make sure you check your own mailbox. And one of the items that I like to look for is obviously other postcards, but then also um, I like to look at the big long pizza uh, flyers that get sent out. Okay. You've probably had them in your inbox. They're big, they're long. And guess what? They are the same size as the calendars I sent that we talked about not that long ago. I sent magnetic calendars for 41 cents an address and that is printed and shipped okay those are the same calendar sizes that your pizza flyers oftentimes come in with those awesome coupons on it that we hold on to because we like pizza right all right that's solution number two check your own mailbox solution number three is to go into the big box stores and this is just simply um something that all of us can do so let me see if i can go back onto the other window and I will narrate it if you're looking at the podcast later on. But for those of you that are catching the video, I want to make sure we have a visual for you guys as well. So what I would just simply go do is go to Google and find 
something that can um, help you out from a big box store kind of brand, right? So let's see if we're looking for postcards. There is those with ads is typically a good indicator of something that um, you can get delivered to you. Now there's no concierge service, so you're, you're gonna have to know how to bundle and get them ready for the post office. But again, it is not very complicated. I go over it inside the EDVM mailer course, in case you're wondering. I've also just done a video inside this group where I bundled 5,000 of my calendar mailers. Um, as you can see here, magnetic attraction is right there. Um, there is quantum postcards. There is 48 hour print and I would simply go through and check out a couple of them, get some quotes and see what else is there. Try the uh, big brands that are there, go by reviews, right? Um, I'm not endorsing any of them that I haven't used. So this would be my third choice if I don't have anybody locally that I can find. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions on mailer marketing and how to get listing from it, let me know. And I love to see you in our next bootcamp, which is happening just very, very soon. You can register for the next upcoming bootcamp at www.mailermombootcamp.com. So there you have it. Have a fantastic fantastic day and I'll catch you guys in another episode.